In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use parameter action to create a hierarchical drill down and drill up. As an example, here's a dashboard I built recently about human resources, pay, performance, and sick days. We have a series of departments, and within each department there's a list of employees. What I want to be able to do is click on the department, and that now becomes a list of the employees with the department on the left-hand side. When I click back on an employee, it goes back up to the department level. So to do that, all we need to do is we need to create two parameters, four calculated fields, and two parameter actions. Let's see how it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a view that looks like category and subcategory with sales. So ideally what we're trying to do is when we click on a category, it only shows this subcategory and vice versa. So let's get into those calculations we need to build. First off, I'm going to create a parameter and I'm going to call it category or subcategory parameter. And I'm going to make it a, a data type as a string and I'm going to default it to the word category. Now this parameter is, is going to pop, we're going to populate this parameter with either the word category or the word subcategory and we're going to use that in order to help us determine what we should show in the view. The second parameter we want to create is just, let's just call this one category parameter. And again, this is going to be a string. And for now, let's just default it to something like furniture, one of the categories that's in the view. And again, what's going to happen is we're going to set up an action to populate this field. And we're either going to populate it with the category they picked on or the subcategory they picked on. OK. Now we have our two parameters, we need to create a couple of calculations. So let's create a new calculated field and let's call this one category or subcategory. And what we're going to say is if the category or subcategory parameter is equal to the word category, which it is right now, then we want to return the subcategories. That means that if they've chosen category, if they've clicked on a category, show me the subcategories. Otherwise, I want you to show me the categories. Okay, that's calculation number one. I'll put a one before that so we can keep track of them all. The second calculated field we want to create is our category or subcategory filter. And this time, we're going to say, uh, let's create a set of brackets. And we need to give it a couple of different options. And this is kind of going to work us through the permutations we need to do in order to get it to filter property, properly. So first off, we need to say, does the, cat does the category parameter field equal to a category? And is the category or subcategory parameter equal to the word category? That basically means we're at the category level. Oops. And let me put this in a couple lines so you can see it a bit better. Or is the category or subcategory parameter equal to subcategory? So if we meet either of these conditions, then it'll return the word true. Okay. Calculation number three is going to let us know what level of detail we're at. So let's call this one, just call this one level. And if my category or subcategory parameter is equal to the word category, then that means we're at the subcategory level. So I'm just going to return the word subcategory. Otherwise, we're going to return category. OK. And oh, I should have renamed that one. Let's put a three before that one. And then the last one we need to build, we can call our header. 
this is what's going to rotate sideways. So you see here I click on IT, it rotates it sideways in the view. That's that field. So I click on administration, it's now rotating administration. So that's the field we want to create. So if the category or subcategory parameter, again, if that's, uh, if that's equal to category, then I want to return to the category. Otherwise, I want to return a blank. So what that means is, if I'm at the category level, I'm sorry, if I'm at the subcategory level, return the category over here. If I'm at the category level, then return a blank. Okay, so let's go ahead and build the view. I'll take sales off the view just so we can start fresh. So we want to take our uh, header field and put that on the rows. We want to take our category or subcategory field and put that in the rows. And we want to take our level field and put that on detail. And we want to add our uh, category or subcategory filter to the filter shelf and choose true. Okay, so if I show both of these parameters now, you can see that we're at the category level. Uh, or we, we, a category has been selected and the category selected was furniture. So I'm going to rotate this text. I'm going to hide the field labels. Okay, and now you can see because I've chosen a category, it populates my category parameter with the value that was clicked on and then it returns the subcategories in this view. Okay, so now we need to just set up a couple of parameter actions. Uh, let's go ahead and put sales on the, on the view as well. Okay, and let's sort descending. And you'll notice I have a little gray border around all these bars. That's because this level field is on the detail shelf. So I'm gonna click on the color shelf and just remove that border, make it look a bit cleaner. All right, so let's go up to worksheet actions. And if you're building this in a dashboard, you'll need to set these up as dashboard actions instead. I'm gonna do a change parameter action and I'll call this one update category parameter. The parameter I'm going to update is category parameter. And the field I want to update it with is the category or subcategory. So that's either going to be furniture or it might be chairs, tables, books, books, cases, whatever. And hit OK. The second one I want, the second parameter action I want to, I want to include is called update the uh, category or subcategory parameter. I like giving these actions the, the specific names of the parameters I'm going to update. So this time I'm going to update my category subcategory parameter and I'm going to update it with the level field. So that's going to, the level field either has the word category or subcategory. Hit OK and hit OK again. Now to show you what this is doing, let me put the level field in the view. And we can see right now it says category, subcategory. If I click on one of these fields now, it switches to, cate to the category level. I click on office supplies, that now switches to subcategory. So let me bring that back down to the detail shelf. A bit of formatting. Now notice when I click on this, I can't now change the formatting. Okay, so let me undo. So I need to right click on the header and choose format. And I'm gonna maybe make this uh, maybe like a Tableau medium and uh, uh, maybe a slightly darker black. So now I can see any of my um, categories or subcategories with a single drill up or drill down. I hope you found that useful. Have a great day.